Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think I have all the all the weapons up to max. We can go down here, which is interesting. We can totally get to the bazaar then, probably. Weird that I'm not finding anything, though. Like, every house here is, is smashed up. <laughs> Ramiar. Big snakes. Good, it seems uh, Grantis' reliability is up high enough for him to actually do the right thing. Hello there, Indie Cluster ETL. Thanks for the raid, I appreciate it. How was your stream? How were the, uh, how were the indie games? Oh, we've got healing on these snakes, too. Darn. <laughs> focus on these snakes. His, his, oh, I thought his attack would just wipe them out. I guess not. We should do healing, though. Uh-oh, Branch has, has ignored orders again. He seems like a pretty cool character, but it's, uh, um... It's weird that it's always weird to me that they they start you off with low reliability. It's <laughs> a little strange for a character like like uh, Grantis. Tune in for some fun, yeah. I'm almost at the end of this game. I think today is going to be exciting. I hope. <laughs> it's always weird with a JRPG. I'm not exactly sure how to. Uh, I I don't know how to stream yet. <laughs> I've streamed a handful of JRPGs at this point. And I never settled on anything that I really like. Like, I try to cut out a little grinding and stuff like that, and just focus on the story parts of it, but even so, it can be tricky. Player's healing is so good. It's just free! <laughs> like, it almost seems like they don't want you to use magic in this game. But it seems like Grantis has been using magic. What has he been using magic on? I have to look at his skills. But what do you got? Uh, okay, we can get all these magic bottles here. That's good. Found a mega bomb. Okay, so I finally got an item out of something over here. Do healing, and we'll do that. Oh, let's see. Oh, he's got tremor. Okay. Don't know what that does. Okay, I think for my own sanity, I will just make sure that I know where those items are. I should have written it down. The trouble is that uh, the item guide's uh, item location thing is different than uh, the way I did my map <laughs> for the game. <laughs> and finding that out at the end uh, makes it a little harder to figure out where where these things are. Okay, so uh, what does it say? Okay.
Okay, it says in... Where is this last egg? House 7. Okay, Rummy... It's, it must be Rummy's house. Rummy's house and... Where is the other one? F3... Oh, it's got to be from his apprentice. Okay. So, Plosi's house and Rummy's house. Those are the ones I have to worry about. Oh, and then do I have any... Do I have any last minute, um... So, Plosi's house, Rummy's house, and do I need any... Are there any more, uh, like, uh, equipment items to get? It doesn't look like it. Phoenix Potion, Mega Magic Bottle. Okay, so nothing except for stuff that's actually in the castle. So, alright. Good. Good to know. Alright. So, we'll get back to... Back to the game. So, uh, I don't suspect there's anyone else hanging out down here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh wow, didn't expect I was going to be able to get all the way over here. There's not really a reward for me either for doing that. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, let's head back then. Because this is a, this whole area it seems like is pretty linear now at, this, at the end of the game here. Ooh, I should probably run away from these guys. Save my strength. Oh, of course, he's gonna explode. Okay. <laughs> that gopher is a character that I feel like I would have made in in uh, Wings 3D when I was in high school. <laughs> And the uh, gold wall is kind of an interesting way of getting around um, having to make a, a metallic texture on the PS2. Grantis really doesn't like obeying orders. <laughs> he likes doing his own thing. I got a skill, too, that could be useful on these guys. There was something about uh, lowering resistances. Uh, I think that's in the main character's uh, stuff. Horn Thrust. Okay, let's do that one. I haven't tried that attack yet, I don't think. Yeah, what do I have here? There's one that's, uh, I want to say it was like... Plosies or something. Um, eliminate defensive attributes. That's what it is. Gold wall escaped. It ran away. <laughs> it didn't like having its defenses lowered. All right. Oh, wow, that did, that's not useful at all. Hmm. Even with a max level weapon, he's not all that handy. Too bad. Well, he's getting swapped out as soon as I get uh, other characters. And I'll probably swap out Claire for Rummy. She's just, uh, overall better. Too bad I don't get free healing, but, uh, Rummy's healing is actually super good. Oh, nothing over here. Hmm. Okay, so we have to find another way to that side of the, uh, 
the world. Yeah, I think this is a group we're gonna run from. <laughs> These guys are pretty savage, I think. A lot of the palace's late game enemies are kind of nasty. Good, we were able to get out of there. Okay. Yeah, I, I should uh, try to get a better party. So we can't go into any houses right now. Um, how do I get back over there? Is this a way? Yes. And then where from here? I guess we're gonna go around up up the top area. Okay, I can deal with these this way. And well, that's not too bad. Ooh, I got a special attack double hole. Is that from him uh, using that skill? Because I noticed that was happening too. I get the special skills when other characters, I use other characters enough. Uh, what was that one? Double Horn. Destroys all opponents in the area, except boss, uh, boss enemies. Okay, I'll have to try that. I don't know if that'll be super useful, especially at this point, but that's, uh, that's neat. Is this store open? I guess none of them are going to be open, but I, I can't I can't like count on all of them to be closed because um, like a, a oh let's try it now. Um, the World of Darkness had a couple of uh, houses that were open, even though it seemed like they would all be closed. Yeah, no damage to them. Ah, uh, worked on one of them. That's the thing I remember, is that all of these special skills that I get from uh, these characters, um, they don't... They, they take HP to use, and so there's not really a great reason to use them. getting a ton of money right now. <laughs> What's in this direction? Oh, wait. Whose house is... Uh, uh, we're not going the right direction. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go over here and uh, Birdie should be here. Somewhere. Oh, I should have used his new attack. Seems pretty pretty handy. I just wish that the gold walls weren't so invisible, uh, invincible. <laughs> Horn thrust. That's pretty good. That's a that's a sizable increase in damage from uh, what he had before. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, down here was where um, where Beak is. Cool, I can stock up on these. Yeah, let's get the max. <laughs> so much money left over. Might as well. Get a few more of those, too. No reason not to max out the inventory now. And I 
guess I'll I guess I'll attack then. That harpy looks more like a like a Final Fantasy monster. The way the face is done kind of looks more like the the designs that they were using around the time of um, some of those some of those PS1 games of like a vagrant story and stuff like that. Slightly more serious look. There we go. I'm a little surprised that these guys came in right at the end of the story. There's a lot of party members that I kind of wish got a little bit more screen time. Whoa, what happened? Birdie has been revived. Include him in the party. Um, I think I'm gonna say no. Until I get Rummy in the party, I'm gonna stick with this crew uh, because of Claire's free healing. Because otherwise, he would be replacing her, I think. Um, and then I'll grab him at the castle, I guess. That seems like what I can do. And I can get all my stuff out of the time vault now. Oh yeah, all I left in there was that flower. So let's take the flower. I don't know, like I still have not figured out what this is for. Oh, actually I did. I looked at the uh, the, the item guide says that it is a full party revive. Um, which is not at all what the description seems to indicate, uh, which is weird. But there were a couple like that. Ah, there was one thing that I actually tried. So I never figured out, I, I could swear that this fish farm is supposed to be a, a fishing mini game, but I could never get it to work. And I went down there before the apocalypse stuff in the game, and uh, there were some guys there that talk about um, four of one fish and two of another fish, and I bought those fish, and it still didn't do anything. <laughs> so there, so it's, to my knowledge, there's no mini game there. Unless it's in Romy's Fantasy, which it very well could be, and I just missed it. Ah, uh, they really want to test my patience with these, don't they? Okay. Yep, let's do it. Oh, I could just run away from them. <laughs> I am surrounding them this time. Let's just run away. There's also something interesting that happens with experience, too. I was trying to figure it out when I was on the island, but I think, I could be wrong about this, but I think um, the experience is calculated based on how much damage characters do in the battle. Um, not completely, but it's it has something to do with that, because like if, a char if one character attacks an enemy and then the rest of the party runs, then that character still gets experience. But it's also uh, weighted, so characters at low levels get a lot more experience than characters at high levels, I think. <laughs> it's like, ooh, we got a new uh, skill. Um, there, there's definitely something with that that's easing the fact that you get characters that start at level 1. Let's try this new one, Iron Blast. Oh, it's just a single, single enemy one. Well, let's see how much damage it does anyway. Ah, that's not better. <laughs> I'll use the other one. I want to say I actually bought some of the... 
Yeah, I bought a couple of Terramins, uh, so that I can try them out. I mean, the final battle might as well, right? Yeah, these are the ones. The uh, Castanets and the Ocarina. Um, still never figure out the Ocarina. Oh, let me go up here. This is probably the path to the castle, I would guess. Oh, it's the restaurant. Can't go in there. So, who from the party are we missing? We've got Claire. We've got Claire, uh, Grantis, um, uh, the uh, Gallant, Lloyd, Rinna, and Kite, and Birdie. So I'm just missing Plosi, um, Plosi, Rummy, Bagoth, Anno, and uh, Birdie too, I think. I want to say they're the only characters I need to find. Um, Anno should be at the palace, so should Bagoth and maybe Rummy. Rummy's probably at her house. I don't know where I'm going to find 32. Probably should check the inn or something. I mean, I guess I could just look at the item guide. I just don't really want to do that. <laughs> They've all been laying around on the ground, so... Uh... If I just wander around enough, I should find them. What is that meant to be doing? I guess I'll find out soon enough, when I get hit by that attack. Ah, oh, there's back off. Cool. Yeah, he's really the character that I wish had gotten a little bit more screen time. He was cool. He seems like the only, like, genuinely nice person across the board that has never done anything bad. <laughs> and he just immediately gets sidelined in the party. And we're not taking him. <laughs> He'll wait by the tower. Yeah, so where are we on the map? Oh, we're all the way up here. Okay, so I've got to find a way down. Or at least by uh, Plosi's house. Yeah, how would I... I guess that area is all flooded. So there's no way down over here. Here's another character, okay. Here's Birdie 2. Bang. It seems like his his skills are pretty useful. He has a whole bunch of them. Um, but none of them are, like, good enough to want to use him to replace any of the other characters, I don't think. So, no, he doesn't have a healing spell, he has a couple of spells, he has a lot of um, different, like, lance attacks, but they're all individual enemy things. Oh, so this person has all the charms. I don't need any of those. I guess we're going to use Iron Blast. Uh, I kind of wish that the main character had learned another skill that was sort of a, an AoE uh, attack at some point. Um, 
I I have like all of the primary skills almost up to max level. Like I have the jump slash to max level. I have the regular slash to max level. Or maybe it's not the regular slash. Maybe it's the uh, it's the the ray slash is max level. So I don't know. I never got another uh, another skill for him. Or no, I think ray slash is at like level eight or something. Uh, it's the charge slash that is. Um, close. Yeah, it's okay. Jump slash is level eight. Ray slash and charging strike are both level ten. So maybe I need to try some of the other skills to level them up. But uh, all of these down here, I think, are are the skills I got from individual characters. Uh, with the exception of hurry, because I did try going through all the skills and getting them to level two, except the ones that were from certain characters. Yeah, so I don't know. Ah, uh, here's Plosey. He is definitely getting excluded from the party. He is not coming with us. I need a character that will not die every single uh, encounter. Include him in the party? No, thank you. Wait by the tower. Okay, now the item guide said that there's a guy down here that's going to give me one of the other two eggs. Sword Magnum! Ooh, maybe I should buy this. That's got to be a fish that uh, is useful <laughs> as a weapon. Okay. Uh, I've got 28 revive potions, so I don't think I need those, but I might as well buy a whole bunch of Phoenix potions. <laughs> There's no reason not to. I don't have uh, anything else to buy. Ooh, we can go in Plosey's house. Probably because he's special. Mega Magic Bottle. Okay, but where is the egg? That's all I'm here for. Is it in the potted plant? No. Weird that we can go in here. Also, looks like there's someone in there. <laughs> A little weird. Oh my god, it's his it's his anime pillow, isn't it? <laughs> Plosi's the kind of guy that would have an anime uh, have a bed just for an anime pillow. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, this guy was holding on to one. Let's get out of here. Uh, is there... No, it doesn't look like there's a way out of there. So I gotta find a way down to get to Rummy's house. I think, anyway... E5, that's the uh, area that it's got to be. Okay, let me fi figure out where E5 is. Oh no, it's this one. Oh no! Okay, where is it in this area? Okay, well that makes sense. I don't have to go 
through the whole town, but it doesn't mean I gotta go back over there. So Rummy's gonna be, in, like, the hardest character to find. <laughs> but, uh, probably the most important one to find. I always hate it when you have enemies that, that self-destruct and you don't get experience from them. <laughs> like that. I know that's a thing in almost every JRPG. Are we... Yeah, it's gotta be in this one. E5. Where could be though? Where where could she be? Because now I have the whole group except Anno and Rummy, I think. His attack doesn't hit them all. Okay, or it doesn't defeat one of them. Yeah, we better do Brandish. Also strange to me that uh, I'm here at the end of the game and the party is not even at level 40 yet. It's pretty low for a game like this. I'm very curious what the level cap is. It's probably 60, if I had to guess. That might be one of those things that, that could be fun to do. Like, throw on some cheat codes and, and just find out. Like, there's so many mysteries left with this game. And the item guide seems... Uh, so there was something interesting about the item guide that I noticed, which is um, when I really looked at all of the, the parts of the map, I noticed that the, like their map kind of does some of the things that I was doing on my map, but I actually found out things that were not on the item guide's map, and I found items that were not on the, the, the their map, um, which was kind of interesting. Okay, I'm going to guess that Rummy is in the restaurant. That's probably where she is. That would be the location. Oh, but I don't think I can get there. Maybe I can. That would be, that would be my guess, because that's uh, thematically appropriate for her. done it. Alright, let's race over there. Okay, where would it be? Oh, I can go in one of these houses, so maybe she's just in here. No, these are shops. Yeah, I'd have to go up there. So that, that probably is where she is. Ah, but that's not E5. Or maybe it is. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, it is E. Okay, it is E5. Yeah, she's definitely in the restaurant. Let's go there.
Oh, there she is. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. And this is where I need to be anyway, because I need to uh, probably go through the shortcut to get to the palace. Finally, uh, do a little bit of replacement. Rummy! What's this? Rummy has been revived. Include her in the group? Yes. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of Claire. Rummy has joined the party. Alright, first thing to do. Let's make sure she's equipped with the best equipment. Um, which means... I want to equip her with the Sorceress Bell. And... Okay, Grantis is using the Spirit World Crest. Um, let's give her the Evil Warrior Crest. Do that. Because her magic defense is pretty low. Uh, but I do want to give her... The... this one? Yeah, the Holy World Crest. The super defense one. Because her attack is pretty good. It's pretty high. But I need to make sure that all of her defenses are just as high for whatever we're about to whatever we're about to face. Ooh, can't go that way. Hmm. Then what are we to do? That was the shortcut to get into the palace. How are we to get in there? Oh, and then the other egg is in here. Probably with this guy. Nope. Okay, what did it say in the item thing? It was somewhere in here. Ah, there it is. Cool, so we got the two eggs. That was all I really uh, cared about. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me just do a quick check here. I made sure I got all the characters. We got Rummy, Bagoth, Plosi, don't have Anno, he's in the castle area. Uh, Rinna, Claire, Kite, Gallant. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I did find Gallant. Gallant is, he just joins you at the beginning. Um, Beacon Fang, Grantis, and Lloyd. Yeah, so I have them all. All right. Uh, let's figure out how to get to the castle. How do I do that? Oh yeah, Rummy got a new, new powerful super move too, so that's pretty cool. It's too bad, like, I always wonder, what's the canonical trio or quartet of heroes that, uh, that defeats the final boss? Like, I think there is a canonical party in, in Final Fantasy VII, right? I forget who it is. I'm pretty sure it's Tifa and, like, Kaichi or something? I don't know. I can't remember who it was, but it was it, one of the members was weird. <laughs> it was something strange to that. I never beat that game. I should go back to it, but just never did. Yeah, how am I getting over to the palace?
Okay, what do you got to sell me? Uh, ooh, these, these ones. Alright, well, we've got a whole bunch of money. Let's get a whole bunch of them. Uh, they will no doubt come in handy in the final boss battle. So how am I going to get to the castle, then? Is there some secret way up here? Oh, what do you have to sell? Mega bombs? Well, none of these things are useful. And none of the, and they're definitely not going to be handy during the final boss battle, so... Never mind on those. Yeah, how do we get over there? There's got to be a way in. Maybe I maybe I can maneuver around the rocks over there and just didn't try it uh, hard enough. No, that looks, uh, that looks pretty sealed off to me. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we gotta find a way to get down to, uh, the main bridge of the palace. 